For this trip, I plan to stay near Angkor Wat as close as possible, so I chose to stay here, Le Meridien Angkor. I knew it was going to be tired at the end of every day during my stay, so I prefer a comfortable place to relax and enjoy my time. Also, I'm so blessed to have my friend, Pirom, who is a native from Cambodia, in this trip. He's going to show me a lot of great local activities. From La Merida and Angkor, it's an easy biking route to Angkor Wat. Are you ready to come with us? Let's go! It's a great exercise this evening. Yeah. We biked from La Merida and Angkor, just about 10-15 minutes. Yeah. And we have arrived here. You can I'm... see the background. Yeah. It's UNESCO's World Heritage Site, Angkor Wat. Yeah, so yeah. this is quite an, a stunning place to bike and uh, it's very easy to bike. Yeah. Uh, but you just have to keep on the right hand side be, be of the safe. road. <laughs> yeah, on the road actually it's a straight road from you know the main road and uh, full of big big trees. Yes, very, very beautiful. Beautiful and not too hot. That's right. right. Lively here at night, yes. and uh, this is special kind of vehicle found yeah. here in Siem Reap. Yeah. What do you call it actually in yeah. your language? Yeah. yeah. But you also can call it tuk tuk as like most. Yeah. Some people some, some people call it tuk tuk, but yes. it's not tuk tuk. It's yeah. remok. Yes. Which is like a carriage, yes. like for for, carriage. for 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 people. Yeah. And <laughs> along this street, they are full of nice restaurants. Yeah. And many. You know, international travelers. International, especially mostly a lot of uh, Westerners. Like ah. they really love this kind of environment. Hello, do you hear the music? <laughs> here is the place that you can enjoy nightlife here in Siem Reap. It's called Pop Street. So let's take a look inside. So there are many things going on at night on Pop Street. You see colorful lights and I love one special place, it's Temple Club. It's been a legendary club here on the Pop Street. And next to Pop Street is here, the Night Market. We're going there to explore. The Night Market is situated next to Pop Street. There are more than 200 shops, including souvenir shops, restaurants, bars and cafes. This morning, we've decided to explore Phnom Kulain National Park. We have driven about one hour and a half from Siem Reap this morning, and here we are at a very famous mountain. It's called Phnom Kulain. Uh, apart from very beautiful nature, there are some ancient heritage here. Uh, it is believed that uh, the lost city found around here is about, you know, it, it was founded before Nepal Wat about a few hundred years before Angkor Wat. So the people, the culture has been influenced from India. You will see a lot of uh, Hinduism, culture and architecture and here we are at one of the temples at the top of one hill. Here we are at the holy stream. Local people believe that, that the water here is holy because over 1,200 years ago, before Angkor Wat was founded, they built like linga, thousands of them under the stream. You can see from here the water is quite shallow, but today maybe it's not that transparent. But if if it's clear, you can see thousands of linga along the stream. So very amazing how they built this like over a thousand years ago. Mm -hmm. 
Not far from the river of Thousand Lingas, we continued trekking to a gigantic waterfall here in Panonkulen National Park. Once arrived, you will really feel the nature, the trees, the water, the air, so fresh. I feel so good. Dedicated to Shiva, Panumbad King was built in the 9th century. It is a Hindu and Buddhist temple in the form of a temple mountain, located very near Angkatom. We need to trek up the hill about half an hour to see the wide-angle view of Simriap. First time when I heard about Panumbad King, I thought it was like a place when I stopped and then take oil. Yeah. But actually today, uh, it, was not, it was my first time like trekking for like 20, 25 minutes yeah. up here on the hill. Yeah. So actually it's uh, a religious place. So we prepare like grab a bottle of water and then wear sneakers. Uh, yeah. yeah just the plan though. All right. Founded in 1998, Adisong Ongkal is a semi-public and social Cambodian company that was originally created to help young rural people find work near their home village. It has maintained its actions in education by developing its own training program in the handicraft sector. As of now, there are more than 1,000 employees. So this place encourages them to have like their own occupation learning skills. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this is the kind of uh, giving back to the local community. Exactly. Here is how they allocate the revenue to support local community here in Cambodia. Out of 100%, 42% is allocated to social contribution. Fly to Siem Reap with Bangkok Airways, Asia's boutique airline. Stay tuned for the next episode. Please subscribe.